Hello chess lovers, if you remember previously I have already shared with you this complex puzzle composed by Yevgeny Dvizov whereby artfully avoiding stalemate and perpetual check white managed to win. Right now you can see that black queen is hanging but it's untouchable because the game will end up in a draw. But what I want to share with you right now is a similar chess puzzle and this one was composed by J. Dolan, first published in 1903 in Literary Digest. Dolan was a secretary of the Mechanics Institute Chess Club of San Francisco. Uh, we can see that again black queen is hanging, but winning it will allow black to draw the game. And again, like in the previous puzzle, we are going to witness a very tough duel of queens. The task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, in order to win the game, white needs to bring his king near to the pawn on f7 and win it. First white is playing king d7. Now if for example king g8 then white can go for the exchange of queens and yes once uh, the queens are gone this position is an easy win for white uh, because uh, black king is very passive and we have a nice target on f7. That's why to king d7 black is answering with queen g8 keeping an eye on f7. Queen d6 freeing the e7 square for the king, but black is showing a tough defense and we have queen f8 not allowing white king to step on e7. Queen goes on d5 and now if queen g8 then white will play king e7, that's why black is playing king g8, queen e5, king h7, queen d6 by triangulating White managed to put his opponent in Suk Tsavang. And once black is moving his queen, king e7 becomes playable. Queen b8. A very, very tricky move. You can't touch this queen because, again, we will have a stalemate on the board. That's why at this point white is playing queen d7. Queen c8. All the time black is putting a very tough resistance, guys. You can't capture on f7. Your queen is unprotected. That's why white is playing queen d8. And there comes queen a8, king e8, and already white is threatening queen takes a8, queen a2, this time protecting the pawn on f7 from a2 square, and we have king f8. Gradually but steadily white managed to make a progress, king h8, queen e7, and there it goes, now the pawn on f7 will drop, queen c4, queen takes f7, queen c5 check, queen e7, Queen c8 check, queen e8. At this point you have to be very careful because if you move like king f7 then you will get checkmated. That's why to queen c8 check white is answering with oops, queen e8. Queen c7 covering that 7 franc not allowing king f7. And now you have to be very careful hurrying with winning this pawn can allow black to give a perpetual check. Yes. Uh, suddenly white queen appears on a very awkward square and black queen will announce a perpetual check. That's why to queen c7 we have queen e4 answer, although at this point there are several other moves which are winning. Yeah, even you can play queen e6. But let's go for queen e4. Queen b7. This black queen is really very tricky, right guys? Queen e6 and now we have a mating threat. Queen b8 check, finally black queen is leaving the 7 franc and we have king e7 although king f7 is also playable. Queen a8 and let's go for f7 although according to Stockfish uh, a move like queen b6 is winning faster but let's choose a bit longer but a very obvious winning line. f7 and we are good to go. King g7, queen f6 check, king h7. And the reason that I chose this line starting with f7 is that in this case uh, there is a very beautiful move which you should find. Can you find a winning move for white? Ready? At this point actually there are two moves which are winning and both are under promotions. You should either promote your pawn to a knight or to a bishop. And uh, other continuations are allowing black to draw. For example, if we move like f8 rook or queen, then black can play queen e8 check, a very, very nasty move. And uh, in this case, yes, black queen suddenly becomes a torpedo queen and can 
uh, chase white king forever. This is a draw. That's why to king h7, uh, white is answering with an under promotion to a knight. Bishop promotion is also playable because in that case the g8 square is not under control. But the thing is that this allows black to win this knight. Queen takes f8 and now again the queen is untouchable but at this point already it's easy to win because now white will force the exchange of queens. Whatever you play, yes, white is managing to exchange the queens. For example, if you move like here then uh, queen e7 or after uh, king d7 if you move like queen b8 then here comes queen f7 check and then queen e8 check and there it goes the rest is easy white is winning just no way to draw with the black pieces there it goes king e6 what are you going to play here here yeah the pawn on g6 will soon drop and this is going to be an easy win. Black is in Tsuktsavang and white is winning. Well, that was a very interesting chess puzzle, I think, guys. The way Black was managing to create opportunities with his queen was simply amazing. And in the end, of course, we saw a beautiful line with an under promotion, something which I really appreciate. I'm sure that there are a lot of lines which I didn't cover. This is really a complex puzzle. Feel free to set up this position on your chess software and play around with it. There will be a lot of interesting sidelines which you can uncover. And in the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and as usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.